Okay, so uh, we're gonna be passing the open guard. This kind of blends from the takedown we've been doing. I just hit this single variation, I knocked him down, and generally end up in some kind of open guard configuration. So we're already down on our knees, um, and I don't have to break the guard, like I said, it's open. So I'm gonna scoop underneath, and then once I have my, my double under hooks here, I'm gonna cut and start. Uh, I can either lock right away and pull, but a lot of times it's too wide, so I'm pulling him in so that I can lock. And then from here, I can pull him up my thighs. So I'm using that as a ramp. So I'm relatively secure from here. I have my thumbless cable. I can't get triangled um, without him doing some kind of funky variation that I should be able to see coming. So from here, I'm going to stand up on my toes and I'm gonna make this uncomfortable. I already hear him exhaling. So I'm gonna reach across and grab the trap here. I'm going to C-cut the crook of his knee, and I'm not going to, you know, this is what I'm talking, I'm not going to um, move too quickly. I'm gonna go nice and slow. I'm not passing so much as he's giving me the pass. I'm gonna make it really uncomfortable. So as I'm here, I start to move off to the side a little bit. I'm dipping my hips. This is coming down on his neck, and I can catch his leg on my ear, and I'm really just like stacking him until he wants to move his legs to release that pressure. And here, I can get a nice deep cross face. My hand is fine here. I can bring it inside, but it's not between the legs where I'm in danger of getting a triangle. It's under both of them, so I'm okay. So if he wants to turtle away, I can track him. If he comes into me, I'm checking the hips, and then I can ultimately start fishing for that underhook. I'm already chest to chest on this cable. Establish like Starting from some kind of open guard here, scooping underneath, closing off that distance, locking up that gable, and then I'm pulling him up my thighs, using that as a ramp. I can now come onto my toes and lean forward. I'm gonna reach and grab the trap here, seek up behind the knee, move off the side a little bit, dropping my hips, which puts my forearm in his throat, pushing his legs, using my head to trap this, really stack him, and then I'll give him an avenue, I'll look away, forward and allow him to bring that past me and then establish whatever kind of side control you put. Okay. Here, scooting under, bringing him up, gable, closing off the rest of that space. Toes, reach across, leg, move off, start setting everything this way, dropping my hips, my forearm, pushing with my seat cup, trapping with my head, really stacking and bringing this into his face. And then when I'm ready, and he's ready, push away, get forward, and he should want to just push his legs out and get down. Questions on anything there? Let's give that one a shot.